Hi everyone, this is Jeanette again. Um, yesterday I posted a, a video on how to do these little sleeves in the round and flat. Um, and when I posted it, somebody had asked about pockets. Well, I don't do pockets, but I thought, oh, it's a challenge, I'll try it. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the pockets. Uh, I've already pressed this, and actually I've already started sewing down this end, and, and I stopped right here in the middle and that's where I'll pick up again um, and then I'll show you how to pivot down this end as you can see I've done it a couple of times and I just take it out because so, I don't want to have to keep uh, making pockets to do this um, but my machine is again is the, is the Brother 2340 uh, my settings will work on basically on any of the Brothers uh, any of the other ones like the Jukies or Genomes or whatever um, my settings are not necessarily what you would use um, I do have the needles at narrow which is the middle and the and the right um, both needles are set at two as the looper is to uh, two my differentials one and my um, stitch length is three um, and I and I want to uh, tell tell you all that this machine does not work like your regular sewing machine and actually on your regular sewing machine with a double needle you cannot pivot with the needles down uh, that machine and this machine you're gonna have to raise them up and adjust and I'll show you how to do that and on these on, on the cover stitch you're gonna have to tie off um, that's one of the things I uh, all the items that I make I don't tie off um, everything is done in the round or if I had if I did do something like this like I said if I do it in the flat then the, I do it close enough to the edge where the serger is going to pick that up and it's not going to unravel so I don't have a problem with unraveling so tying off is new to me so but I'll show you how to to tie off in this corner um, so what I want to do is when you start off um, like if you're going to start off up here at the top up here you're going to come about three to four or three stitches off of this edge and then um, because you're going to pull them through and tie them off and it it should line up right at the top stitching here when you when you tie off which I've already done um, and that's what you want um, and then when you get down here I'll show you how to uh, pivot and turn uh, when I get over to this corner here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and line it up uh, so I can get started here I'm going to try to keep my hands out of the way and what I'm doing is I'm lining the edge of the fabric here the pocket to the edge of my uh, foot so, uh, and it'll line up every time here even when you get to this corner and you pivot if you've done it right it'll line right up so here we go um, oops I want to I want to do a couple of turn downs and then hold my thread tight always have your needle in the down position okay now when I get to the edge here I want to hand crank and I'm just going to go about one stitch off of this edge here and I'm already there so um, we're going to cut the thread and then when you pull your thread through like alright normally I would cut off down here I'm going to cut off up here because I want a longer tail um, because we're going to have to tie off so just kind of pull it through and here's your tails here and watch when I pull the tails are coming through see they went through they're in the back now so then you pull it through and you cut it off there alright so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my tails and I'm gonna I'm just gonna grab one one in one hand right here I'm trying to 
show you guys without getting my hands in the way. Okay, so I got one thread here and two over here, and these are, are the, the uh, needle threads. So I'm just going to do a couple of knots, not really tight, just bring it down to where it's flat. Like this. Okay, so you, now you've got that corner tied off on that one. All right, so there you got that. So now when you go to pivot, this is this is where we just sewed down this way. So that's the right needle, that's the left needle. So when you pivot, you're going to put the right needle in this hole and then the left needle in that hole. It's very important because you can see where I've done my previous stitching. It lines up and your the side of your foot will line up with the edge of your pocket. So uh, it's going to take some eyeballing to do, but you should be able to line it right up in there. There you go. And then do a couple of turn down. I mean, yeah, a couple of turn downs. And then hold your hold your thread. Okay, now when you get to the end here, you're gonna hand crank, and I'm right at the edge. Now on this one, I don't have to tie off. This one is going to lock in place. So this one I can cut the short tail, unless your machine doesn't do it. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the long tail. I'll go ahead and cut and tie it off. All right, and then you hold it in the back, and you can see them coming through. And then pull this, and see it's right at the edge there. So again, you're going to take one thread and two. Tie them in a knot, a couple of knots to secure them down. Tie them down, I mean, cut them off. And that's what you're going to do down here, too. You're going to um, want to pull them through. Well, this one's already locked, so we don't have to, so this one's locked, so we'll just trim it off. But see, this is how it looks in the corners. They're, they're right in there, and that's what you want. And there's your pockets. Pretty good, huh, for the first time? And then there's your back. Uh, gives a little bit better look than the uh, the double needle, but uh, it works. But you know you still have to do the pivoting, and uh, I mean the the uh, lifting and cutting just like you would on a regular sewing machine. So um, hope this helps anybody. And if anybody else has a video that they want, uh, let me know. Um, I'm gonna uh, my next project is a V-neck. So uh, we're going to do that probably in the next couple of days. So uh, keep watching, everybody, and happy sewing.